morning guys today's travel day but not the good travel day the bad travel day we're going home yeah I'm just leaving it there going home but the best thing is we're coming back in six months with the kids and crazy granddad and I can't wait this has just got me really 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 excited this trip was never up obviously I've said it many times it's not about the parks it was just about the run we just have to come for seven days because it was cheaper than five but maybe after all the food and the money we've spent it probably would have been cheaper to come for five i think five would have been ample for this trip but i'm not complaining about two extra days at all i do really 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 miss the kids and i can't wait to get home to them well we're going home saying goodbye to universals on the summer it's been a great hotel look nobody in the pool this morning it looks awesome out there. So this tower here is part of um, Endless Summer's surf side as well. So you've got tower two and tower one. And you've got a uh, beach bar down there that we didn't get to enjoy. We went in the pool a couple of times though. And behind us that way is International Drive. There we go. Take goodbye to the room. My room. <laughs> Carl, you're not staying, you've got to come with me. Oh, everything's up packed and I'm ready to go. Considerably heavier than when we came. Little bit concerned about that. Not much we can do about it now. We have to pay for excess, we have to pay for excess. In summer, we're bringing four suitcases. I mean, you have to buy another one. <gasps> Do I? I've only got three. Oh, there we go. Another shopping trip to buy another Disney suitcase. Right, let's get all this stuff to the car because we are going to go for breakfast. Not sure which one. Denny's or Perkins. Maybe we'll give Denny's a try because we've not been there this trip. All right, come on then. Let's go. Let's see if we can take all this with just the two of us. Bye, room. Bye bye room, you've been awesome. Bye Surfside, you have been a great hotel. Maybe bring the kids one day. So we've come to Denny's on International Drive. Apparently it's always open. You're supposed to be a gentleman. Great, thank you. Emily's favourite place. Ah, oh, pancakes. Hey guys, good morning. Breakfast has arrived and we couldn't leave America without some more pancakes, eggs, hash browns, bacon and sausage. Oh. And I'm on my second cup of coffee. Back in the car now after our breakfast at Denny's. Not sure I'll be going back to Denny's. Um, the pancakes were great. Uh, the service it was exceptional and it always is exceptional. Um, but the food, the rest of the food just wasn't very nice. The meal itself was a reasonable cost. So it cost us $23 for the two big breakfasts with pancakes, coffees and juice. Um, but yeah. We've tried it twice now uh, recent, on recent trips, this one on our last trip, and both we've just been a bit mm, about it. Um, parts of my scrambled egg were actually freezing. Um, so yeah, I don't think we'll be going back to Denny's. Um, Emily has already said she doesn't like Denny's very much. She thought, I think the, just the restaurants are very, very old and probably need a bit of modernisation. Um, Perkins definitely gets the win for our family. Never tried IHOP yet. Um, I think that might be one for the next trip. But Denny's, apart from the coffee and the service, gets a bit of a thumbs down from us. I'm heading to Disney Springs now for our last bit of Disney hit. I'm not sure if we can fit any more shopping in the suitcases though. Not that you buy another one. Not, yeah. And then buying a suitcase, paying for excess baggage, and buying another, yeah. We'll just throw your stuff away. <laughs> David doesn't need clothes, does he? Well, I've already lost two t-shirts now. Two? One before and one now. Yeah, so he lost a t-shirt, 
because when we went to the pool, they would obviously bleach the seats um, and his t-shirt got ruined. Um, and we threw his shoes away to fit the rest of the stuff in. He was going to throw them away anyway. So let's go to Disney Springs and see you soon. a few more shops. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how cool that license plate is? Keeps driving away from us. Could have not come for a Lego shop. And look at the Disney stuff. This is not the Disney stuff. Though. One day this will be mine. How amazing is that? We've come to Disney Springs for a little while. We went in the Disney store to see if I could find my backpack that I wanted. Um, asked a cast member and she said, she thinks it's available at All Star Sports or Movies or one of them. So we're going to go up there and see what we can see. Also, gives us something else to do. Go on some um, Disney transportation and explore some other resorts, which I really want to do on this trip anyway. So that's what we're doing. Okay, we've just got on a bus and come to Disney's All Star Music. Let's have a look around here. So we have just done a very, very brief stop at Disney's All-Star Music and I got my bag! It was worth it. We almost walked away from the uh, bus, but the lovely people in the bus queue actually shouted us back because they knew it was on the way. Um, we are now, instead of having a wander on the resort, heading onto a bus to Hollywood Studios so I can finally, finally get on the Skyliner. Yeah, so I can finally get on the Skyliner and then we are... Right on queue going to Caribbean Beach and get off there, have a wander on there and head back to Disney Springs from there. It's a Disney transport day today. <gasps> Look who we're getting on! How exciting! We're on a Toy Story bus with my Toy Story bag. We're on a Disney bus. We're on a Disney bus. Not that I'm excited about a bus. No. On a Toy Story Disney bus. On a Toy Story Disney bus, which you'll have just seen on the camera. Hello everyone, and welcome aboard the Walt Disney World Transportation System. We are on our way to Disney's Hollywood Studios. For your safety and the safety of others, please remain seated while the motor coach is in motion. If you're standing, we encourage you to use the handrails overhead or to the side, and remain clear of the doors and stairwells. We ask that you refrain from eating, drinking, and smoking while on board the motor coach. And now, we invite you to relax and enjoy the ride. Thank you. David, see that bridge over there? I ran across that. It's getting old now. <laughs> well, next trip I can tell the kids. Yeah, constantly. There's just music everywhere you go. It's awesome. So this is the bus station for all the resort buses. And it's just even magical down here. We are going on the Skyliner. 
not heading into all this and going today. The Skyliner is currently running. So I am really super excited about this. There we go! here at Hollywood Studios and when we last time we walked through here it was absolutely chucking it down. Nice park day weather. It is a very nice park day weather. Um, it's a slight cool breeze but the sun is out, nice and dry, nice temperatures, good day for parks. Not when we're back in summer when we're baking, sweating. Well how cool are these? I wonder which one we'll get on. Let's find out. We are on the Toy Story one. How cool is that? The queues aren't very big at all. Um, well, it isn't at this time of day. And we are only people in this um, pod? Gondola. That's what they call it. A gondola. I'm so sorry. Um, a gondola. Yeah, they could have doubled us up, but they didn't. I think just because the key times aren't that big, whether they double up when it's busy when park finishes, I do not know. But this is so super cool. Oh. We've got aliens behind us. Whoa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Hollywood today. Now wave goodbye to your adoring fans cool? below. Bye! We've just about seen Spaceship Earth through the wrap, the vinyl wrapping. The door hasn't got wrapping on, so the view is a little bit obstructed. The car park's looking pretty damn empty though. This is so cool! So the journey is really nice, lovely and smooth. It's not bouncy really at all, as she says it's a very bit bouncy. <laughs> Did you know that the entire Walt Disney World Resort is over 40 square miles? That's about the same size as the city of San Francisco and Ooh. double the island of Manhattan. There we go. Interesting fact as you go down the Skyliner. Gets a tiny bit bumpy when you go over the um, pylons. pylons, but apart from that it's really nice and smooth. I can see why you're not supposed to be up here in a storm, though. Thank you for flying with us. Por favor, permanezcan sentados hasta que las puertas se abran automáticamente. Al salir de la cabina, por favor, cuide a sus pequeñitos, reúna sus pertenencias y observe sus pasos. Gracias por volar con nosotros. Just coming into land. Woo! Sorry, you can see us more than you can see anything else. This is the Banana Cabana um, poolside drinks bar here at the Caribbean Beach. Since we stayed in 2015, it's been massively done up. It looks stunning. And anyone staying here, this pool is amazing. Oh, 
I forgot how stunning this resort is. We never vlogged that trip. We started two in the very first day and then I just never carried on. So yeah, back in Disney Springs now and just gonna have a look around the Coca-Cola store. David has been wanting to go in here for ages. Or maybe you can try some different types of coke. Everywhere in Disney there's a shop. Anyone else remember the Sprite and Coca-Cola and Fanta yo-yos? No, they were good. These are your colours around here. So we've come to the Coke store and bought a tray, a flight tray of Tastes Around the World. We have got 16 different Cokes to try from around the world. It's gonna be fun! You're not supposed to read that yet. Uh, number one. Alright. It's like ginger, ginger ale. Ginger ale, yeah. And where's that from? Tanzania. From Tanzania. The Stony Tango Wizzy. Sure, well number five. <laughs> what the hell? Who would drink that? Goodbye. That's from Mexico. That's a... That needs to go back to Mexico. <laughs> the right to go. No, we've not even touched them. Right, number one. And tray two. Just move them around. <laughs> I think you know what that one is. It's the best one. That was just a genuine reaction. It was. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right kick to it, isn't it? I love tonic water though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> my barbecue sauce! <laughs> it's fucking horrific. Oh, I'm like drinking barbecue sauce. <laughs> I shouldn't drink barbecue sauce. Which was a nice one. I need to, I need to cleanse my palate. <laughs> <laughs> it's so worth it. Oh, you should have got another drink to cleanse. I don't know which one was nice. That's horrific. <laughs> Who's that? China? Smart sour plum from China. That was like... Oh. It's like the drain from a sink at a barbecue restaurant. Oh no. Not good. <coughs> My least favourite was obviously the Beverly and the barbecue sauce. And I like honey water. Which one is that one? I need to brush my teeth now though. I've got to try and finish these. I'm going to get wasted. That challenge was definitely fun, but I think next time if we come here, I'm just going to get a proper drink. I don't need to try those again. Done it once, do not need to do it again. But how cool is the view from up here on top of the Coke store? We 
have been instructed not to go here as well. We are not allowed to go to Sprinkles or go to the Cupcake ATM. We'll bring her back in July when she wants, and then she can get one for herself. And I've not had a Pandora this trip either. Been good, me. I've been wanting to try this poutine for ages. Um, it came to $10.11 with um, sales tax as well. Just got the Canadian, just a plain and simple chips, gravy, and cheese curds. I'm going to suck into this and I'll let you know how it tastes. So we've just finished the poutine. It was nice. The, the chips and the gravy were really, really, really nice. The cheese curds were just a little bit rubbery. Obviously, I think they need to be a bit more melted, but it is being mass produced. The flavours were really good. I would, if you like that chips and gravy, I would recommend going there. We just shared it. Um, and then we're going to have a quick wander through Disney Springs. Maybe have a drink, maybe have an ice cream. Last one of the trip. We just stopped in the art shop. I love this place. I imagine we're going to walk away with a $14,000 piece of artwork. $140. We've left Disney Springs now and are heading to the airport. Got changed into our trousers because it's really chilly at home. Um, lovely morning wandering around Disney Springs and then to all the resorts, going on the Skyline, which was really cool. I think I'm ready to be going home. I really want to see the kids. We FaceTimed them again while we're in the Caribbean beach. Harry got a gold award at school and I really want to see him and say well done. Um, it's about a 15 minute drive to the airport. We've just fueled the car up um, at the petrol station across the road from Disney Springs. It seemed reasonable priced. Um, normally with um, petrol stations in the US you have to kind of prepay so you know how much you need to put in. There you could use Apple Pay. So you just tapped your um, iPhone, Apple Pay, and then it obviously charges it when you finish fueling, which is a very good thing for us. So that was quite easy and um, efficient way of doing it. Not sure how much we'll vlog around the airport. We'll just see, obviously, if we do anything, we'll take you with us, and we'll show you what the Virgin's like on the way home and what food they're serving. So come on, let's go to the airport. Let's head back home. So we're at the airport now, we dropped our car off, which is always effortless. You follow the signs for Terminal A, um, and then it takes you direct to the car drop-off place. You literally drive through, check your car over, and then you walk off. Uh, we have checked in now with Virgin. Um, it seemed a little bit chaotic for some people. Um, some people, I've felt really sorry for a family that were there. Something's expired, they hadn't got the right test. It is all very confusing at this time. Um, stressful enough coming to an airport with a family as it is, let alone with all these extra rules. Luckily I've got this one with me, who I'm very grateful for because he just kind of sorts it all out and tells me what I need to do. So you need um, your passenger locator form which you fill in pre and then you'll need a QR code off that which David had stored on his iPhone. Luckily David's got data. Um, I had to try and faff in trying to sign into the, um, the Wi-Fi but luckily David had it all and we had our um, COVID vaccination status downloaded to my Apple wallet, which I have never used previously until, again, David saved my bacon and showed me how to use it before for this trip, which was um, brilliant. I'm not the most tech savvy. Not a lot of people. Some people aren't tech savvy either. Um, we were able to do all the information and do all the passenger locators form on David's laptop, which he brought with us. And for most of you guys that watch these sorts of vlogs, or Disney community that do all the do vlogging we all bring laptops but 
I can't imagine 95% of you do bring it and we'll be doing it on the phone so it's really not great at the minute but we were all checked in the bags were just about within the weight limit weren't they one bag was 24 kilos the other one was 21 kilos so balances out and evens out despite the last minute purchases at Disney Springs so we're just chilling out it's about two and a half three hours before we get on the flight we're going to see if we can find David some food I've got my chicken dinner from yesterday, chicken pasta dinner from yesterday's Bahama Breeze. Let's go and see if we can find some food. Obviously, I stopped by the little photo opportunity. That's a lot of people coming through. If any of you have never travelled out of um, Orlando International Airport, um, one thing you will notice is that a lot of the shops and the restaurants are what we would in old school, old school terminology called landside. It's the area before you go through, through security and this is where a majority of the um, restaurants and shops are. In here you've got a food court, it's got Subways, um, Pretzels, a Cinnabon, Chick-fil-A, um, what else have we got? got McDonald's, the Panda Express, Mo Southwest Grill, and then down the side you have got lots and lots of shops. Oh, swish! There's the Virgin. Your case just disappeared off. How pretty is that look as well? All through security now, just having one last margarita. Just at the Harbour Breeze. We've never actually been here at the airport before, but it's really quite cool. But look at them, you behind me. Just watching the finish loading our plane with food, the caterers are all off. Hopefully, my bags are on it too. But cheers, guys, it's been a great trip. That's good. Ooh. You gotta love these margaritas. Margarita count. I really don't know what the margarita count is. Super high though. I have about one a day. And that's the only drink I have. Just boarding the aircraft. Exciting. We've got given um, some COVID supplies, I think, some masks and stuff that David's got. It's warm in that airport tonight. Dinner has arrived, the choices were pesto pasta or chicken teriyaki, drinks also arrived too, aviation gin has gone down a treat and I have got wine with my meal. So I'll show you, the pe I got pesto pasta and David got the teriyaki chicken so we'll show you both. David's a happy boy now because he's got cheddar cheese and some Oreos, well done America, and this is the chicken teriyaki. Okay. Almost there. Dry, cack dry crackers with cheese. Oh, it's a cherry chicken teriyaki. It doesn't look too bad. And this is the pesto pasta.
it was so lovely coming home definitely definitely ready to be home so lovely to see the kids when we arrived back um, it's a couple of hours later we've unpacked a bit we've had a sleep we've had a shower so looking a lot a lot fresher the flight was okay it was about seven and a half hours service was really good um i think i might have slept a tiny bit which is unlike me but it was a bit turbulent um obviously coming home we flew over thunderstorms which was quite cool except when i said to her on stage and said i thought we'd left the rides at universal because we kind of like did a big drop um apart from that the flight was okay the food was all right chicken teriyaki and pesto pasta and the breakfast was yeah wasn't too bad again um we travel day has been fine and lovely we've had an absolutely awesome trip but a week was definitely long enough because i have missed my little babies and speak of one come here hey welcome to the vlog oh you missed us yeah yeah um but yeah it's been an awesome trip week was definitely long enough we missed these guys um but it was definitely worth it because that run was amazing even though it was really really hard so this is the end of travel day and this is the end of this travel vlog series um our next big travel vlog series is when we go back to florida six months i can't believe we're saying that we never say stuff like that we never have two trips in one year ever 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 we're lucky if we go once or twice every like once every two years or once every year so that's it i hope you've enjoyed it thanks for coming with us give us a big thumbs up go on show him one of your presents we'll try and do a haul for you give us a big thumbs up leave any comments down below ding that bell for notifications and subscribe for future content. I'll see you again. Bye.